When it comes to project management, there are two school of thoughts. One is the camp that says, I'm a project manager, not a subject matter expert, so I don't need to get into the details. My job is to make sure I do the coordination, facilitation, and get things done, not necessarily be the expert of anything, but just be a task master. So follow, chase people, get the dates, don't get into the weeds and just try to just do follow up jobs, right? Second school of thought or the second set of people who are in the camp that is a little bit hands on. They want to be involved in the project. They want to know a little more details about the technical stuff that's going on. So sometimes other stakeholders might not appreciate that you are spending time on the activities that are not related to project management. Sometimes you might be doing hands on testing, doing maybe some scripts to convert some files into different formats or helping the team in any way, form or shape to contribute to the project and more things forward from a deliverable standpoint so i don't know which camp you are in but both has its pros and cons but i'm definitely in the second camp where if possible i would like to get into details i would like to roll up my sleeves and do the task if i have the bandwidth offer solutions and provide support in resolving customer problems or questions before involving the technical team. So let me give you an example if that makes more sense. So when doing the testing of any software project, that's when you would have an opportunity to dive into details if you want to get your hands dirty and do some stuff during testing that's a learning process if you have an opportunity to get trained so typically for any project we would have a training session for the users so as a project manager it's not mandatory that you attend that but if i was given an opportunity to attend any trainings that's going to use us, I would do that. So let me tell you the story here. So recently I have implemented SAP system for one of my client internal client for the company I'm working for. So as a user of that business, entering SAP orders is not their core skill. They have their day to day business operations to do. They are PhDs and metallurgists doing other steps on the manufacturing floor. SAP production order is just a tool to enable for them to process the order, get it through the production line and deliver the product for the end customer. So even though we train them on SAP, most likely at least in the first one year or so until they get more comfortable, they would just know the steps, you know, A, B, C, D, what, what got trained on. And if they make a mistake or if they have slight deviation from it, then they wouldn't know how to get out of it or how to resolve it. It might be something very really minor. So as an IT person, I would be able to look at and see, okay, you know, it's a minor change. Instead of doing A, you do ABC, right? But for the end user, that might not be that intuitive because number one, they are not with an IT background. They're just using the IT tool that we implemented for them. The reason I'm telling this story is we would think that it's so easy that, you know, they have to do this 10 steps process and order, but since they are not doing it on a daily basis they have to follow the instruction document to do the 10 steps as a project manager if you have paid attention and you have been hands-on during testing then you would have that in your mind you know how to do that or you might have assisted the user in getting it done for the first few orders so naturally for you it'll become like a additional skill set that you developed as part of the project and it can come in handy in this project or in the project in the future so recently the customer called me and they had a problem where they they were processing one of the steps and they got stuck because they used a wrong goods moment type in sap without realizing it so they called me and immediately because I was involved in the testing and I have helped the customer to process the order first few times. I know the steps exactly 
in back of my mind without even looking at the instruction document. And I told them, have you done this? And have you used this particular code when doing the goods movement in SAP? And they realized, oh, they used a different code by mistake. And that was just under two minute phone call to me from the customer so that they were able to resolve it and move forward, right? And get to their day-to-day -day job. So imagine if I was not involved in testing or I did not put in the effort and time to understand the SAP system in the first place, then when the customer called me and if they have that question and you know they got stuck, I wouldn't know what the solution would be because I was never involved, right? I'm not familiar with SAP. Then I would have to call someone in SAP team to take a look at it. Oftentimes, SAP teams are super busy, hard to get time of any resource. So it will be my time spending and chasing the SAP team, getting some time from them and finding a time that works for the customer and then make them come together, try to look at the problem and resolve it. So that could all take maybe an hour, if not more. In the meantime, customer is just wait, waiting and sitting without being able to process the order that adds up to their frustration. Even though SAP is a powerful tool, in their mind, they would perceive it as you know a poor tool. It drops their confidence down. They would not be able to move forward with the order. So they have got stuck there. It is my time now I'm spending trying chasing people who can look at the problem and come up with a solution. Obviously this, this was a smaller problem that I was able to resolve quickly. My point being here is I was able to solve that quickly because I spent enormous amount of time during testing training and putting the documentation together on how to do the steps and doing it myself. So since I spent that initial effort and time up front, I was able to assist the customer within just seconds and they were able to go in their way and I was able to focus on the task what I was doing. So my point is, so if you are in the camp one where you think getting into weeds, getting your hands dirty is not your job because I'm a PM, I'm just a task chaser or I'm a task master, then maybe think or consider this option because if you understand the tool and if you are able to provide technical support then actually you are saving your time in instead of going and chasing other people you are just now able to sit and do nothing right you save that time because you spend a lot of time upfront in understanding the tool and understanding the business processes and how it works when some issue happens you are able to resolve the problem quickly agree that you know some cases it, it might be beyond you but in most cases it might be minor things that the customer calls you and asks for clarification and questions so if you don't have the in-depth knowledge or at least some basic knowledge you won't be able to provide any support that's my thought so in the same thought process there was another example that happened today where we were implementing a solution and the technical team who was responsible for writing scripts to move file from one server to another they their id did not have access to that folder in production and for some reason my id had access i was asked if i can go ahead and create a folder if not they have to open a service ticket get approved and then somebody from the help desk have to create a folder so again understanding the basics of you know how to create a folder on server set permissions and assign users and things like that these are things not part of project management but if you learn as part of any of the prior experience you i was able to apply that skill today so that instead of again chasing creating tickets which is again my time and then getting approvals and chasing for approvals getting somebody to work on the ticket and priority all that small time adds up rather because i was able to support that myself i was able to quickly create the folders hit the permissions and send it back to the person who was trying to write the script overall the point that i want to communicate here is that if you have an opportunity to learn the business processes tools and systems as part of implementing the project as a project manager you should definitely invest that time it's never going to be waste 
if it's not being used in the current project i'm sure you can utilize that knowledge and experience in the future for any other projects that is yet to come all right so this is just my thought i wanted to convey that uh, since it came up in the last few weeks and as i was getting calls from the customers and i was able to resolve 99 percent of it without being quiet to go back and find a solution architect or a technical person i was so happy that i saved so much time by being able to provide the support instantly on the phone and in some cases i was not even in front of the computer i was driving outside so that also saved a lot of time otherwise you know I would have to come back to office, look at the laptop and then provide some solution uh, since I was accustomed to the tools and the business processes and the SAP specifics in this project. I was able to quickly resolve those items and it saved enormous, enormous amount of time if I was not paying attention to the technical details in the project. All right, I would like to get your thoughts on this process. Are you a project manager who is just focused on tasks and dates and resolving conflicts? Or are you somebody who is willing to spend time to learn the system, willing to do a deep dive where possible to become a pseudo expert of that tool or a process, whatever that is? What are your experiences? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to project management, let me know if you are interested in this type of topics. I'd be happy to make more of them based on my real world experience on a day to day basis. And uh, if you are interested in learning project management, I have a dedicated project management master course that you can sign up for under nextprojectsacademy.com. And I also have a project management blog at uh, nextprojects.com. If, if you would like to check them out, uh, please do so. If not, I'll see you in the next one. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more project management videos. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next one.